Greetings, seekers of truth. Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the vast cosmic mysteries that lie beyond our world. Today, we are embarking on an extraordinary journey with the renowned Andromedan contactee, Alex Collier. But before we delve into the depths of cosmic knowledge, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to join our incredible community. Trust us, you won't want to miss a single moment of the awakening we are currently experiencing. Sit back and relax and listen to Alex Collier discussing the 6th century BC and ET influence. You spoke of Zoroaster some time back. I believe you dated him around the 6th century BC. Buddha, Lao Tzu, Confucius, and Mahavira, on whose teachings the Jain religion is based, are all said to have lived around that time. Also, the Hebrews were released from exile, returned to Jerusalem, and rebuilt the Temple of Solomon in that time period. I am curious what off-planet or extra-dimensional goings-on might have been involved in such an influx of religious activity. Oh, guys, you're dialed in. That's an outstanding question. And yes, <laughs> there was a stunning amount of knowledge and wisdom that was shared at that particular time. And we have the Pleiadians to thank for that. Uh, although those visitations and those that walked among us trying to help humanity correct its course that's all been wiped clean from from history except in what science likes to talk about or refer to as mythology you know you have you have many ancient cultures that went to a great deal of trouble to record history whether it's in rock or stone or shells or metals that had to be uh, created, um, calligraphy, a great deal of effort went into recording true history, events that happened in those moments of time, in real time, in their time. The great institutions of learned knowledge that are all controlled by two or three monetary sources have altered history or hidden history in order to maintain a narrative. You don't go to all that work to chisel a novel, something made up. That's insanity. They would never do something like that. So there is more real history and mythology than we've ever been told. There was also a great deal of trade going on around the world. Uh, ancient seafarers mariners they knew about the world they knew what was there they knew where to find minerals and things that they needed because atlantis and lemuria were continents in their respective oceans they traveled they mapped the world they knew what was out there and they met and founded other cultures or colonial cities many of which were along the sea coasts in seaports so that trade could occur and knowledge was also shared as well
but that's next week's lecture. <laughs> that's next week's lecture. So William and Stephanie, that was that was a wonderful question. And um, yeah, th there was a time where the peas were here and they were doing some really good work. The problem is when they left and they were called away, they promised to come back and they promised to protect humanity and that didn't happen. Um, I'm sure they had every intention of keeping that promise, but other things happened you know, in their own system and in, in probably other places. So nature avoids a vac, uh, nature doesn't like a vacuum. So when they left, other groups came in that were regressive to fill the void. They represent represented themselves one way to befriend humanity and then slowly they they began the regressive system of enslaving and imprisoning humanity so that they could feed off of humanity and enslave humanity and then what they did was they created these bloodlines who would then manage humanity so they could remain hidden away whether underground in the earth or on the moon uh, or other places within our solar system but uh, that's a whole nother lecture. We are immensely grateful for your support as it enables us to continue sharing knowledge that transforms lives and expands consciousness. Your likes, subscribes, bell notifications, and comments bring us closer to a collective awakening. Thank you for being an integral part of our cosmic journey. Stay curious, stay open-minded, and most importantly, stay connected. Together, we'll navigate the vast cosmic tapestry hand in hand. Until our next adventure, fellow truth seekers. If you would like to see Andromeda and contact e. Alex Collier live via video stream, we host an online seminar three times a month on a Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. For more information and dates of upcoming online seminars, please visit alexcollier.org. Please click on one of the above videos to seek more of Alex Collier's knowledge.